The Mushroom in the Rain Does kindness always make room for one more? Can we sometimes help more than we think we can? Well, one day, an ant got caught in the rain. Where can I hide? Oh, and then he saw a tiny mushroom peeking out of the ground in the clearing and he rushed over and hid under it. He sat there waiting for the rain to stop. But the rain came down harder and harder. A wet butterfly crawled up to the mushroom. Ant, let me come in from the rain. I'm so wet I cannot even fly. Well, how can I let you in? There's barely room enough for one, said the ant. It does not matter. Better crowded than wet, said the butterfly. And the ant moved over and made room for the butterfly. The rain came down harder and harder, and a mouse ran up. Let me in under the mushroom. I'm drenched to the bone. How can we let you in? There's no more room here. Oh, just move a little closer. And they all huddled closer and let the mouse in. And the rain came down, and it came down, and it would not stop. A little sparrow, crying, hopped up to the mushroom. Oh, my feathers are dripping, my wings are so tired. Let me in under the mushroom to dry out and rest until the rain stops. But, but there is no room here. Please, move over just a little. And they moved over, and there was room enough for the sparrow. Then a rabbit hopped into the clearing and saw the mushroom. Hide me, hide me, save me. A fox is chasing me. Oh, poor rabbit, said the ant. Let's crowd ourselves a little more and take him in. As soon as they had hidden the rabbit, the fox came running. Have you seen the rabbit? Which way did he go? We have not seen him. The fox came nearer and sniffed. There is a rabbit smell around here. Isn't he hiding here? No, <laughs> what a... Silly fox you are. It's ridiculous. How could a rabbit get in here? Don't you see there isn't any room? The fox, not liking to be called silly, turned up his nose, flicked his tail and ran off. By then the rain was over. The sun looked out from behind the clouds and everyone came out from under the mushroom, bright and merry. The ant looked at his neighbours. How could this be? At first, I hardly had room enough under the mushroom for myself, and in the end, all five of us were able to sit under it. <coughs> they turned and saw a frog sitting on top of the mushroom, shaking his head at them. <coughs> Don't you know what happens to a mushroom in the rain? The ant, the mouse, the sparrow and the rabbit looked at one another, then at the mushroom. And suddenly they knew why there was room enough under the mushroom for them all. For what happens to a mushroom when it rains? It grows. And probably the same can be said about us. What happens to us when we are showered by creative forces and are willing to share that space with each other? We grow. We grow.